Hey guys, okay, so I'm back and this is Golden Delicious. I was gonna make this video after I ate, but I'm like, you know what, I got like seven minutes left until it's done. I'm just gonna do this now. So this is Golden Delicious. Let's try to raise the brightness. You can see it. Okay, hopefully you can see it. I love this smell. Well, I do, I do. And I love the original Be Delicious as you guys saw in yesterday's video, but um, yeah, they have this limited version. Let's go ahead and spray it. Oh my gosh, I said I was gonna write down the scent notes. You know what? I'm gonna put them both in the description of this video. So go in the description and read them there because it's probably gonna be a lot of scent notes to write down anyway. So you open it. For the, for the small ones, you open them like this. For the big ones, you just spray them. Okay, here we go. I really am like, God protect this scent because I don't, like sometimes I worry when I've had a scent for a very long time about certain things. <laughs> um, okay. This is a nice scent. It's very more like perfumey. The other one was more like fresh apple. And this one's definitely like a lot more like perfumey where it's just kind of like, um, it's like sweet, but also very like, not ambery, but like, I don't know. It's not as apple-y as the other one. It's definitely still sweet. Like there's a similar base, but they definitely took a lot of liberties with this one to like change it to make it a little bit more, like the other one might've been a little younger demographic. They're still definitely for like any age almost. Well, at least the other one is. This one's more for like, when I smell it, I just think like women in their 40s and like 50s. Maybe 30s, maybe. I do have concerns about the quality of this changing, which mm, so sad because it's such a good scent. But like, have you ever been at like Sephora or like Ulta or Sephora or Ulta or like Macy's or wherever? And you're just like, wow, I feel like this has been here for a while. Like it don't smell right. Have you ever had that? Yeah, same here. Um, I'm like worried about the brightness, whatever. Um, yeah, so let's look at the sky. Oh, so blue, you can't really see it, whatever. Okay, so I worry about it changing quality. Oh my gosh, no, there. Okay, so I worry about it changing quality and that sucks, but like, it's sad because like I have memories of how it used to be, so I'm like, thinking of how it used to be. Um, but this was a very special scent, very like grown up, like, what's the word I'm looking for? Like metropolitan, is that a right word? It just smells like one of those Macy's type smells where it's like, at least back in the day, maybe Macy's smells now are different, but it's just kind of like, oh, I'm walking through the mall and like, I just smell some perfume and it smells nice. It smells like good quality. This is one of those smells. It's just nice, just good quality, just a good smell and very adult, but like someone who's an adult who has good taste in perfume. Let's smell it one more time. Okay. It's sweet, just like the other one. I get apple notes. If there's like any woodsy notes, then it's not in the forefront. It's definitely in the back to like well rounded out. But like the thing is like these scents are so just so good. Like they don't have a lot of like weirdness at the bottom. Like sometimes Bath and Body Works has like some weird guys kind of smell at the bottom. And usually they call it like some sort of woods. This isn't like that. It's just feminine and beautiful and pretty and adult, modern, not super like it. At least it was modern for like, this is a modern smell of like 2000, like five to 2015. This is a smell you would smell in the mall around that time. Just a lot of perfumes kind of had this type of smell. One more smell, cause my food's about to be ready. I'm wondering if I'm smelling my deodorant. I don't know. And I don't want to like smell my deodorant on camera to see if it's not that, but I don't know. Um, Cause I'm like, I use like Arm & Hammer Rosemary. It's not like super, super fragrant. Um, okay. 
and eventually hopefully I'll be using my own deodorant with like charcoal or bentonite clay or whatever. Um, but yeah, so this smells very nice. I don't really know what else more to say. It just smells like an expensive, sophisticated scent for someone in their 30s and 40s, a woman in their 30s and 40s from 2004 to 2015. Maybe not even 2015, maybe until 2012. So yeah, it's really nice. If you ever have an option to like smell this, don't smell these in the little body splashes. If you ever see these at like Marshalls, cause I've seen it like Ross or Marshalls or whatever. I've seen like a little like body splash of these and it's like, it's not the same. It's not the same. And it makes me sad cause I want them to be, but it's not. So yeah, we just have to deal and just figure things out. But it's really nice though in the perfume and um, I think evening time, I think late afternoon, early evening, maybe nighttime. I would not wear this scent before 3 p.m. And uh, September, October, November, those are the months I would probably wear this in. Um, if you want to wear it in January, maybe? Or December, maybe? I never really know what to wear for December because it's kind of like Christmassy and stuff. So I don't really know what goes then. But yeah, it's just really nice. It's, it's a nice smell. So yeah, I feel like that wasn't a great review. But you know what? It was a review and I tried my best. I'm gonna try to put the scent notes in the in the bottom in the comments. Please let me know if I forget to do that. I don't think I will, but just please let me know if I do and I'll go ahead and do that. Um, and not in the I don't know if I'll put them in the comments or description, either or. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm about to have some Japanese sweet potato and I also have some red potatoes, like, right, like regular red skin potatoes and is that all? I'm just having like that for lunch. So yeah, I hope you guys have a great day and I will talk to you guys soon with more videos. And I'm so excited for the ones that are coming up. So bye. Okay, picture for me in case I need more thumbnail options to choose from.